So tip number one is do not ever just full clear every single game like no brain. It's not Shivana, it's not Kartus. Doing a three camp into a gang on Belveth is actually super strong. Here I am doing a red into Crux into Raptors. This makes me able to do a full clear if I need to or want to, but it also makes me able to gank mid, which I do in this case, I go for counter gank. Tip number three, your E is a execute, meaning it does more damage to lower health targets presented wise. So here you see a perfect example of me waiting till the Hecarim is very low, then pressing E. I do also get low myself and you will get low in these fights yourself before you press E. Which is why the rune last stand is so good on Belveth. I use this rune every single game and I highly recommend you do the same. Tip number three, always Q, W to get the reset on your Q. So if you didn't know, your W gives you a reset on your Q in the direction you hit your W. So here you see me Q to get in range for my W. Then I hit the W on Silas and get another Q to get fully on him. And if you do this every single time, you won't have any trouble with catching up to guys and staking on to guys. So here the combo is again Q, W, then Q again. Very simple. Tip number four. Waiting to use W until they dash or uh, flash or whatever is a very good thing. You can see here I wait with my W until I see Silas use his dash. And the way that way he can dodge my W when I actually use it. A lot of the time when you gang a lane you will see the enemy champion wiggle around trying, trying to predict your W. And in that case you just keep autoing and queuing until they actually use the dash or whatever they have. And then you press your W. This is a very simple thing, but make sure you queue when you're actually going places. As long as you have your queue back when you actually need to make a play. Queuing from example base as you saw there is, is very good to save time and get places faster. You should be careful though in the early game since your queue cooldown is like 15 seconds in the early game. So you shouldn't really just spam your queue before ganks in the early game. Tip number six. Your E can be used to negate damage. If you didn't know, your E reduces 75% of all damage, incoming damage on you. So example here, when Fizz ults me, I press my E. I die anyways, but you see the point. So if you get uh, Diana ulted, Kartos ulted, things like this, Syndra ult, press your E and you can negate pretty much all the damage. Tip number seven, I didn't really have a good clip for this, but be careful when you use your ult. You stand still for like two seconds or one and a half second when you press your ult. Therefore, you're a very easy target to land skill shots on and you don't have any kind of damage reduction as like when you E. You have a little bit of healing, but that is not enough. If you ult in the middle of a team fight and everyone is targeting you, you're most likely dead. So be very careful using your ult. Tip number eight, the final tip. Don't ever use your E to finish off a camp right before gank in the early game at least. So your E has a massive 25 second cooldown or 24 seconds cooldown. And if you use it on a grump or a crock right before, let's say bot gank as in this case, it is a creative game just to show you, but you get the point anyways. You can see I fight her and I get her down to the health you would normally E. Like right here, I would E her and she would be dead 100%, but because I used it on Crux, I don't have it and therefore she lives. So just remember in the early game, never use your E on the last camp before gank. It's a very good rule. Also, if you run into anyone on the way there, you kind of fuck without your E.